So today we are going to deploy a Java app to Railway in less than two minutes, or maybe roughly about a minute. Railway allows you to deploy Java apps of all kinds. You know, you can deploy Scala app, Groovy, Java, but we're going to see all of that in a moment. So let's get to it. So here we have Railway.com. We can head over to our dashboard. Um, and what we want to do first is to like initialize like a Spring Boot app. Uh, you can go to start.spring.io. With this, you can easily, quickly set up a Spring Boot app. But we don't want to go through this because we already have one set up in our repo. So let's just go to that repo. You could developer. I have that as the first repo here. Java Spring Boot app. Yes, this is correct. So we have this here. Uh, this is just a simple Spring Boot app. You know that prints onto the screen, shows hello world, but it basically works for any type of app that you want, even if you have databases configured. So you have this. Uh, let's just go over back to railway.com and go and deploy and see how fast this is and what we can do with it. So let's head over to the dashboard again and uh, create a new project, deploy from GitHub repo. Okay, here's our repo. Um, so here now, Railway is going to start trying to deploy it. Uh, just for just just to be sure that like we're on the same page, I want you to head over to your workspace settings. Uh, go to feature flags. Please make sure you default to Railpack. Railpack is the successor of Nick Packs that allows you know your apps to be built. It's just a new version that is way better than Nick Packs that we built from the ground up to uh, allow faster builds, allow you to make different types of configurations, and you know so many other things smaller images and all of that you can go to realpack.com and read more about it and you know see more about like all of the languages and frameworks it currently supports so here our app is being built at the moment uh 20 seconds 21 seconds so let's see let's see if we can build this our app very fast you know in like a minute or two so railway is just taking care of all of that you don't even have to do anything uh you can look at the logs here and you know just follow the progress <clears throat> so let's from the beginning so this is our region of course you can set this to a different region uh now this is real pack like i said it detected java detected using maven it has listed the versions of java and maven it can see in the app real pack defaults to java 21. so you can see it is building it it's building it is you know creating a, a build plan uh you see it has gone to deploy so this should deploy anytime from now and we should have our app ready so this is just barely over a minute one minute, five seconds, six seconds. Let's see how long this will take. Voila, successful. It's not, you know, less than two minutes. So, yep. So how do we see this now? Uh, this is an unexposed service. So let's go to settings. Uh, we can go to domains. Let's generate a domain. So this is it. Spring Boot app, 880. Let's open this up. <clears throat> Voila, this is our app. Simple. Is that, is that, is that simple? And then also one thing that we can do is to change the JDK version, like the version that you know it uses. Right now it uses uh, Java 21, right? From what we can, from what we saw in the build logs. <coughs> so you come to details here, come to pretty. You can see the builder is real pack Java 21, Maven 3.99. You can see all other details. What if we want to use Java 22 or 24 or 23? <coughs> so let's just go. And come here to settings <clears throat> sorry go to variables actually and do real pack underscore jdk version <clears throat> and let's say use version 23 and let's add so this will bring up a stage change and we deploy it's going to redeploy and then we are going to see if it respects our decisions to our decision to use a different version of java <clears throat> So while this is building, uh, let's go ahead and open up, you know, realpack.com. So this is Realpack, right? Our new builder, you can click on Get Started. You can see everything, PHP, Go, Java, Python, Node. It supports different languages. And more languages and supports are coming, Rust, you know, um, Ruby on Rails and all of that. Okay, so let's go back to our app. Uh, so this is already building, 36 seconds, 38. Let's check the logs. It's already deploying. <laughs> you see this even deployed in less than a minute. Wow. So let's go back to the version. You can see it uses Java 23 already. Uh, if we go to view logs, click on details, we can see Java 23. Voila, that's all. You, that's all you need. 
So you can see here we've de de, you know deployed our Java app. The first app took less than two minutes. The second app took the second deploy took less than a minute. Is that fast? So please, again, if you don't have Rollpack enabled, go ahead and enable it. You know, you know uh, feature flags, or you can just enable it for a particular project, right? And that's what you need to do to deploy your Java apps to Railway. I'll see you next time.